I mean, come on, man. You know, it was a supermodel and I was a teenager. I did a workout character. The character was insane. We just destroyed the set. Hey all, I'm Kel Mitchell from All That, Keenan and Kel, and Game Shakers. Hey, I'm Josh Server from Nickelodeon's All That. Hey guys, I'm Danny Tamborelli from The Adventures of Pete and Pete and All That. Today, we're gonna revisit and react to some of my classic moments. Let's check them out. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. I was overly excited at that moment. <laughs> it's like this is Tyra Banks, y'all. I love it, Ed, it's kinda hot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Working with Tyra Banks was uh, super awesome. <laughs> she was super ready, was ready to be there, and you could see the excitement. I mean, come on, man. You know, it was a supermodel and I was a teenager. So I was, <laughs> I was super excited, but uh, Tyra's super nice. Shout out to Tyra. I mean, you're cute and all, but can we at least go out on a date before we get married? Oh, sure. <laughs> That's a classic for me, man. I love it, man. I'm a gym coach, and vocabulary don't impress a gym coach. I want you to go out there and be tough. Is this the ballerina one? I want you one? to go out there and show me muscle. I want you to go out there and show them what kind of man you really yes, are, Yes, okay. Bruno. So we shot this first now season. Go, son, uh, go! Go, 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 go! I remember go, this one specifically, like, Keenan and I kept making each other laugh, and it was really, really tough to get through. We kept breaking. Because, <laughs> look at it, it looked ridiculous. He's ridiculous. And I'm just literally yelling in his face the entire time. That was a lot of fun. Move it, move it. Come on, yes, sir, move it. This is one of the what moments right here. What was that? What kind of ballerina are you? You let that little girl take you out. Yeah, we couldn't get through any of this on the day. <laughs> she kicked me hard. I remember we broke a lot. She is a little girl for crying out loud, Bruno. But she's real strong, and look, she ripped my tutu. That's just too too fat, isn't it? And Keenan was just like naturally funny. Like Keenan never didn't even have to do a character. It was just Keenan being Keenan was really, really funny. We like I said, we couldn't get through the sketch. Go, go, yeah, but let me go. Ladies. And then Miss Fingerly comes in. Miss Fingerly was in everything. She was just the resident teacher, holding it down. In honor of Bird Spice changing his name to Spice Cube, we will now perform our hit single, B is for Boys. Is for boys. So Yay! stupid. It's so good. <laughs> oh man, here comes my dancing skills. Look at that. Oh, see, not, just late, late. But I am doing it. Look, and I slipped. And not, uh, it, looking at Nick Cannon just doing it so gracefully and perfect, me next to him really looks bad. Look, I'm, I'm not, I'm... <laughs> That's it. I, I was clogging up sinks with what I was wearing, truth be told. Oh my god. Yes. I mean, who doesn't want to be a fan of the Spice Boys? And, and Dead Spice, it, it, it's, you, you can't beat it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I knew that I couldn't dance back then, but now I really know that I, I could not dance. Not on rhythm, hitting my, my mark early and late. It's tough when you're in a hairy suit with a fake Australian accent, but perfectly perfectly manicured facial hair, which is also pretty amazing. That this is all like perfectly trimmed, but like my eyebrows are crazy, hair everywhere, but keep it tight on the side, which is what I do these days, keeping it tight. I haven't enjoyed television ever since they canceled me, which <laughs> remember all the things you did when I know. Remember that? Oh, we'll find you something to watch. Oh. Here. <laughs> A lot about burrito. <laughs> and I was trying to lead a happy life. Oh, yeah. And then you shut me down the stairs, boiled my life. Then, funny me, I was like I was some kind of crazy twisted thought. Yeah, 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 yeah,
<laughs> oh, the life I live is sad. And Kel goes out the window. That was always written in scripts. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of funny in this one. If you listen closely, uh, I, I think I said something that didn't fly <laughs> with Nickelodeon, and uh, you can actually hear it in there. It's like, if you re-listen to that, and it said, it boiled my rah rah, and so I just put a rah rah over the actual word, which is hilarious. Shut me down the stairs, boiled my rah. And then the dummy, dummy looks not like me at all. It's super funny. Uh, <laughs> the other thing about it, you'll see me pushing down my gown, because uh, my leg was up and I had my underwear and I didn't want everybody looking at my drawers. Uh, and that's what they were doing. <laughs> so I kept pulling down my gown to hide my hoo-hahs. So that's what's in that clip. Let's hear it for Super Dude. Yeah. Hey! Let's not! Milkman. Milkman, well I should have known you make one ugly old woman. That's correct. So this was basically just me doing Jim Carrey. <laughs> like, I feel like the whole first season I was just doing a bad Jim Carrey impression. Like before I figured out that I was could be funny. Like the whole, all of my characters were just throwbacks to Jim. It was amazing. Super dude. Super dude. Go after him. Anything with milk. Steve Holland. Especially ice cream. Look out, stupid dude. It's so funny because like also when you when you watch some of these sketches, like the uh, writers and producers of the show, they would throw them in all the time and they would be doing acting like in this one I've noticed like at least two people. I think that was Neil as well, Neil Brennan. And these guys are like, you know, doing big things nowadays. And they were back in the day they were just on our show. When I fling this giant scoop of ice cream at your head, you will be finished forever. So long, super Super right, it's just all Jim Carrey. The entire sketch. Look at that effect. You, milkman. Uh, oh, this is for trying to harm me. Ow! This is for calling me names. Ah, and this is for getting Penny all messy. Enjoy your flight. Was that me or was that a dummy? Magic of television. Love it. Whoa, we're going back. Just like I thought. That Jesus. Is and look at the expiration date, man. It's not even fresh. Oh, come here. Oh. You got a license for this cheese? Yes, it to ya. Punk! Punk! Oh, this was a fun sketch. Cheese. Kel was so funny in this sketch. He was I really going in. Right here. I swear to you, Kobe. And I loved how they shot it like, like cops. Like it was like a true throwback to cream cops. Cheese. Did you realize the fat content of pure cream cheese? Oh yeah, because I mean, look, we look like criminals. I'm wearing a hat and I have an earring. Clearly, you know, don't mess with me. That's real acting right there. I don't want to say it's statue worthy, but it was, you know, pretty good. That was Cheese Police. Uh, that was our rendition and spoof of Cops. I always watch Cops, so that was fun to be able to do that with Cheese Police. I just, I do remember the set, like it was really like this like run down house and they were like following us around. They wanted to look like it to look really like Cops, herky jerky, and it was a lot of fun to shoot. There are 16 ounces in a pound. There are 38 sheep in my pants. <laughs> Some of my favorite all that characters include Helga Schlumpenfist. I thought maybe we'd go bowling. <laughs> Jay Bergenau! Or I will pummel you until you cry like a little nanny cock! A German bodybuilder, and she was very nice and sweet until you got her angry. And then she would go from talking like this and really like, I'm getting really angry! I'm sorry! Get out of here! <laughs> Mostly when I got angry, I got the break stuff. Also, with breaking stuff, Jack Campbell, fat cop. I'm Jack Campbell. Jack Campbell. There's an, uh, a sketch where uh, he basically comes on Randy's chocolate show. And that might be my favorite uh, 
sketch that I ever did, because I think Keenan and I, the one that they aired was a live one, and we just destroyed the set. And like, you can see us laughing, and like, there was chocolate all over the back, and there were pads in the back. We kept slipping and falling, and like, you could just, you, it was just one of the best experiences. So that, that particular sketch is probably my favorite of all, but those are, those are two of my favorite characters, for sure. Hurry up! I'm not getting any younger! Getting older! Getting older! Still getting older! We did, the 10th anniversary was really cool. We came back and did like a 10 year special, which was really awesome. But I have to go with the live episode. We did one episode that was completely live and we like rehearsed for two weeks as opposed to like one week. And we shot it like a true live, like SNL style. That was awesome. I hope everybody's enjoying the live show because I'm, I'm Danny and all and ask Danny who I am. Oh, forget it, look. Hi everybody, I I'm not Danny. Uh, Danny was supposed to come out here and introduce the musical guest, but he hasn't quite made it to the show yet, which is fine. He, he was gonna come out here and say all kinds of funny stuff, which I didn't really memorize, and he was gonna do a little dance, and I think it would've looked something like this. Oh, no, 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 no. Look at me. I'm butter. Top five characters to play. Okay, uh, let me see. Coach Greedon, super funny. Well, ask me if I care. Go ahead, boy. Ask me if I care. Ask me if I care. <laughs> Ghost Green, uh, of course, Ed. Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? <laughs> <laughs> Lump Maroon, because he just would say Jupiter all the time. Now, your name is Lump, and Lump, I understand. Jupiter! <laughs> Jupiter! <laughs> Um, Mavis and Clavis. Mavis, when was the last time you heard some music that made you want to shake your booty? <laughs> and Repairman. Oh, Repairman. Step aside. What? Because I am a Repairman, man, man, man. <laughs> <laughs> I played a lot of characters, y'all. I be pasta man. I feel the hurt. Come on, be hypnotized by my love. <laughs> I will do uh, Detective Dan, fan favorite. Love Detective Dan. I'm Detective Dan. I'm Detective Dan. I'm Detective Dan. You're under arrest! I did a workout character. His name was Toby Braun. Are you feeling it? Are you feeling it? Yes! Yes! Woo! I'm ready! How are you? What's the guy who did the gazelle commercials? The Tony Little with the long blonde ponytail? So it's basically an impression of him, but the character was insane. For those of you who aren't convinced about the board, we're gonna show you in a second how easy it is to use the board right here. But first, I gotta show you, without the board, I couldn't do this! And they didn't even write anything at that point. I just was allowed to do what I wanted to do. I think Bernie Kibitz was fun because of all the makeup. And although I am 129 years old, I still like to get funky with the best of them. Check Bernie out! Oh yeah! Oh, go Bernie! Go Bernie! Oh, Bernie! Oh yeah, you like that, huh? You want some more? You like that, don't you? Go Bernie! I mean, if I could have been Principal William Bane, Pimpel, I would have. My name is Principal William Bane, Pimpel. Because I thought that Keenan crushed that character, and all I wanted to do was have some sort of prosthetic that I could use, because he would speak to you, and like he would accent words with like, just like, just the bulbous pimple just pushing out every time. I think that is something we all need in life, just a little like, Sorry for the sound effect, people. I'm gonna teach y'all a little something about my sad, wasted life. You are an absolute disgrace to your tutu. You want the fight to remain silent. Wow. Wow, that was wild. Oh man, those were great. Comment below, Comment below what, what scenes you wanna see me react to next.